don't risk what is important to you to get something which isn't important to you. Never invest in a business you cannot understand. We believe that a policy of portfolio concentration may well decrease risk if it raises, as it should, both the intensity with which an investor thinks about a business and the comfort level he must feel with its economic characteristics before buying. If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until die. Half of all coin flippers will win their first toss, none of those winners has an expectation of profit if he continues to play the game. After 25 years of buying and supervising a great variety of businesses, Charlie and I have not learned how to solve difficult business problems. What we have learned is to avoid them. In the 54 years, Charlie and I, have worked together, we have never foregone an attritive purchase because of the macro or political environment, or the views of other people. In fact, these subjects never come up when we make decisions. The best thing that happens to us is when a great company gets into temporary trouble. We want to buy them when they're on the operating table. You don't have to make money back the same way you lost it. If we can't find things within our circle of competence, we don't expand the circle. We'll wait. You cannot make a good deal with a bad person. People always want a formula, but it doesn't always work that way. You have to estimate total cash generated from now to eternity, and discount it back to today. Yardsticks such as PEs are not enough by themselves. It is not that we don't understand a technology business or its product. The reason we don't invest is because we can't understand the predictability of the economics 10 years hence. We just focus on a few outstanding companies. When investing, pessimism is your friend, euphoria the, the enemy. Market forecasters will fill your ear but will never fill your wallet. Games are won by players who focus on the playing field, not by those whose eyes are glued to the scoreboard. You have to read a zillion corporate annual reports and their financial state. Quotes famous. Thank you for watching.